Ask anybody in the live music industry or in the bar industry and they will tell you that this came to them as no surprise. The cancellation of South by Southwest foreshadowed it. And right here on Red River Street in downtown Austin, a lot of the live music venues and bars could have really benefited from ACL's crowds. But that's only if the state would have let them put on a performance come October. Empire Control Room, for example, one of the venues here in the Red River District, has been closed since the end of March. Its owner, Stephen Sternshine, told me he doesn't think it'll be possible again to have an artist and fans at one venue until at least next year. So whether it's South By or it's ACL getting canceled for them, it does not matter anymore. Without putting on a show, the future for them is really grim. At the end of the day, it comes down to rent. Like if, if you have a rent obligation and no way to make revenue to support that, but you still have to pay the rent, how do you have a business? I don't think we've lost hope, but we're, we're in pretty bad shape. And so, you know, we need to have some good news pretty soon. According to a survey by the National Independent Venue Association, at least 90% of live music venues across the country could close for good in the next six months because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, Stephen says he fears what this could mean for the people who work at those venues, along with the experience and the history and the history rather that those venues share. Some of these venues are trying to stay afloat by doing fundraising or selling merchandise, even streaming performances online. We'll keep you updated. We're live in downtown Austin tonight. I'm Patrick Perez, KB News.